Hello everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about Q11, uh, which is Spectra. Sorry, I have the wrong thing here. Let's, oops, let's fix that. Q11 Spectra. There we go. Um, so if you remember from uh, the last chapter, um, we had a couple different uh, simple quantum systems that we looked at. Uh, the first one was a quanton in a box. Um, and what we're going to look at today is just looking at the energies. So we're only kind of interested in the energies of these um, of these things. So if you if we look at the energies of the quanton in a box, if you remember, we got something like h squared n squared over 8ml, where the m is the mass of the thing that's in the box, uh, the l is the size of the box or the width of the box. Um, and uh, the n is just uh, which energy level we're at. Now, if you remember, this is a little easier to write if we actually do this this way. All right, um, sorry, this, that should be L squared. Um, because HC squared is just 1240 EV nanometers, and um, often our masses are given in, in units of MC squared. So let's just take a simple box. We're gonna have our L equal to 0. Uh, five nanometers. And if we do that, we find that the energies are just equal to, uh, this is 1240 um, EV nanometers, that squared. Um, we still have an N squared up there, we got an eight. MC squared, we're gonna put an electron in the box, so we just have 5.11 times 10 to the fifth, oops, I always do that, 10 to the fifth EV. And we have the length, uh, I just wrote it as 0 0.5 nanometers. All right. And if you plug that in all in, you get that, um, you get a nice uh, round number where you get 1.5 EV times N squared. Um, uh, so the nice thing about this is that we can now actually draw what's called an energy diagram. An energy diagram just shows uh, uh, where the energy levels are. Um, uh, for the different levels. Um, and so, uh, the, you know, okay, uh, E1 is really simple. Um, that's uh, 1.5 EV. All right, now uh, you just plug in N equals one. If you plug in N equals two, you get a two squared, which gives us a four. And so E2, it turns out is six EV. E3 is 13.5. EV, and you can keep going. Um, so the nice thing is these, so these things that we're gonna start creating, these things called energy diagrams, um, this is the one for the quantum in the box I'm talking about right now. Um, you see, it's very straightforward. We basically set, uh, um, we have, uh, there's no real x-axis, it's just kind of a line along the x-axis. Um, but the y-axis um, ha has energy increasing as we go up. Um, and uh, the the um, it, you just plot in the different n equals one, n equals two, n equals three. So for n equals one, we have 1.5 eV, and so there we get that right there. That's at 1.5 eV, and we just plug a little line there. Um, Six eV is n equals two, 13.5 eV, eV is n equals three, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we can do the same thing for both the hydrogen atom and for the uh, for the um, for the the harmonic oscillator. Uh, first of all, I want you to notice that in this case, um, in the quanton in a box, the things get spaced further and further away. It's actually going as n squared. So in other words, as you get higher levels, um, things are getting further and further apart. For the um, for the hydrogen atom, it's a little different. All right, so for a hydrogen atom, uh, you get an energy is equal to minus, remember it's minus 13.6 eV, divided by n squared. And so for the first, for the n equals one, that's right here. Um, for n equals one, we get minus 13.6 eV. Uh, for the n equals two, we get, um, uh, we just plug in two, we get a minus 13.6 over four. And so we get uh, something like, uh, so we get minus 3.4 eV for this one. All right. Um, and then we get minus 1.5 EV and et cetera, et cetera. You can just plot all those. And you notice what happens in the case of the hydrogen atom, they get smaller and smaller and closer to go, closer together up here. Um, and then eventually you will just get infinity on the bottom. You just get that energy is equal to zero. So the highest energy that can exist in the hydrogen atom is actually zero. Um, 
And so that's the energy diagram for the hydrogen atom. By the same token, um, you can do uh, the, the, um, the harmonic oscillator. Um, and the harmonic oscillator just has an energy um, it, that's equal to h bar omega times n plus one half. Again, with remembering that n equals zero, that, that we have n equals zero in the, the harmonic oscillator. It's the only one that starts at zero. And uh, so um, we can plug this in. We can have a value of, uh, uh, we can do this for a value of h bar omega, uh, where h bar omega is, um, is equal to 4.0 eV. Um, and then we can go ahead and plot those. So whenever we plug in zero, we get um, 4.0 divided by two. So we get two eV. And we get 6 eV, 10 eV, 14 eV. You notice for the harmonic oscillator, they're actually evenly spaced. That's the idea of a, an energy diagram. It turns out, though, so you're like, well, okay, why, why do you just teach us how to do those stupid energy diagrams? Uh, well, the reason that I did is that it's going to come in really handy when we start uh, talking about spectral lines and how spectral lines work. Uh, and so I will show you that in the next video. Uh, so stay tuned.